Hello, Internet. It's been a while. Uh, I have been terrible and procrastinatory, if that is a word, um, on this channel. But hopefully, I will be here a lot more. Uh, I actually feel like writing and recording now, which is odd. So, anyways, on to today's beer. Uh, it is from a one of the classic Belgian breweries, I think. Um, Brasserie de Silly. They've been around for quite a long time, 19th century. This is said beer. It is a Scotch ale. Yes, you heard right. A Scotch ale. Um, most of these breweries do not generally uh, brew English-style beers outside of IPAs. And they are usually Belgianified, either by using weird hopping techniques or doing weird shit with the hops, or using Belgian yeast and making it sour. So it's going to be interesting to drink a English-style beer that is just a traditional beer, and also one that's barrel-aged, because usually they just kind of use whatever barrels, uh, actually they haven't had very many Belgian beers that have been barrel-aged, so this will be interesting. It's the Scotch Barrels, and I love Scotch. So if I don't like this beer, it'll be, uh, kind of a letdown. <laughs> so anyways, a uh, rundown on the beer itself. It is 9% ABV. I'm drinking it at around 50 degrees, or as close to 50 degrees as I can kind of figure it. Um had it out for about an hour before recording this. And, uh, yeah, don't know the, any IBU, and the only real specialty ingredient that I can tell is that it was barrel-aged. So, let us open it up. Oh, I can already smell that. It smells so good, I wish there was smell vision Anywho. And, uh, as usual, I am using my Duvel goblet because it makes beer look very pretty, as you can see. Go ahead, don't go to yeah. All right. It actually looks a lot brighter on camera than it does in real life. Uh, to me, it looks a lot darker than this, but. It's that same kind of deep caramel kind of brown color. Very unfiltered as well. Uh, if I go like this, can't really see through it all. Uh, that head is a beautiful, beautiful thing. About at least an inch. Hopefully it stays there, but it probably won't. It's 9%. So, yep. Yeah. There's that, and there's a actually surprisingly amount of um, surprising amount of carbonation. I don't know if you will pick it up, but there it is. Um, so yeah, let's give it a whiff, shall we? My favorite part of drinking beer, as always. That is. Valhalla in a glass, that is. First things I pick up, huge notes of caramel and whatever sugar that they use, sweetness. It's probably... No, it doesn't say. I think it's just general malt stuff, not can any Belgian candy sugar, but it smells sweet as fuck. Um, well, out of that, some burnt sugar, um, caramel, some milk chocolate, more on that side, not as much of that kind of dark bitter. Huge earthiness, not a lot of smoke. Usually these Scotch Barrel aged beers have a ton of smokiness right up front, but this does not appear to have any, um. So that's odd. Maybe some way in the back, but yeah, it's nothing 
nothing very obvious up front. So, uh, let's do what we like to do with beer the most and drink some of this shit. Alright, yeah. Nope, there is definitely smoke. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of smoke in the, uh, in the beer itself. Um, right when you take a one sip, it just kind of hits you immediately. But then it immediately disappears into a just huge, huge boozy wonderful sweetness definitely balanced by the smoke definitely balanced by probably the smoky english hops that are usually used in uh, not smoky earthy sorry english hops that are used in these um english styles very i'm surprised how closely they stuck with it uh belgians love tradition if they love anything in their brewing so it's not very surprising but it's always nice to see another country's take on a classic style of a different one, especially two very uh, distinct brewing cultures. Mouthfeel-wise, it's quite standard, uh, quite standard uh, Scotch ale. Very creamy, very chewy, uh, warm booze notes no no um there is no uh kind of heat or um kind of burniness to it that sometimes happens and if it's not brewed very well and incredibly drinkable for the abv so i would recommend being very slow with it so yeah that is the beer. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, definitely be very happy if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to not keep this a dead channel. I'm going to try to actually do more things with it. Uh, try to have a weekly schedule, but we all know how that happens with me. Uh, if you want to hear me ramble on the internet, I have the links down below. And the doobly-doo. Um, it's for my Twitter and Tumblr accounts. I'll post the video there as well. And I might be doing some written stuff there in the future. And then Twitter just to follow me for some nerdy-ass, geeky talking shit. Or just drunk me. So yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will try to do more videos in the future. And... See you next time. Sláinte.